All right, in this exercise, we're going to build a house similar to what you see on your screen right now. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and create a new drawing. And go to your PDF file using Getting Started Revit on page 18, exercise 2, Building with Elements. All right. The first thing we want to do is select the wall icon. And on number three, it asks us to set the height of the walls on level two. So we go to the height where it says uncon, and we're going to select level two. We're going to go ahead and select a rectangle and it asks us to build a rectangle that's 60 feet by 28 feet. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, and once we've done that, let's go ahead and zoom in, scrolling in with my mouse. Alright, so we are on number, I'm going to go ahead and on uh, number five, select a line on the bottom right corner of the screen. Let's go ahead and do that. and start a wall six feet to the left of the lower right hand corner. Place that on the existing wall. And it wants us to come out at an angle of 120 degrees that is six foot long. And I'm zooming in as I as I do this exercise. Almost got it. Here we go. All right, and then we're going to come across six feet. Hope that goes a little faster on this one. Six feet, there we go. And we're going to come back at 120 degrees, which is going to be six feet. 120 degrees, there we go. All right. And then it asks us to copy this object that we've done. I'm going to hit the escape key. Going to recenter this. All right, so we are on number eight on page twenty. Let's get there. All right, so we're going to copy the existing walls that we made. Let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead and select the copy. And then we want to put this approximately 36 inches from the existing. There we go. And on number 10, it asks us to split the object. So we're going to go ahead and split the object.
All right, we're going to go ahead and split the object. Right about there will be fine. Then we'll select the trim command. And select the wall here. Select the wall you want to keep. And we'll do that again. And we also then want to go in and split the next object. And do the same trim command. Selecting the walls that we want to keep. And we are now on page 22. And we're going to add a roof. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll select level 2. Open. And select the roof by footprint. And on the overhang, we're going to select four feet. And then we want to make sure that we're careful with where the dotted line is showing. That's going to indicate where the roof is. And we're going to select around this wall. We want to go all the way around the outside of the wall, so let's go ahead and use this one. And what we can do now is just trim this. And it'll go ahead and do a lot of this work for us. Okay. And then go over and select the roof properties. And we're going to make a slight adjustment here. And we are on number six. So let's go to the dimensions. And we're going to change the rise to four inches. Type in four. Okay, and then we're going to select Finish Roof. Okay, and let's go ahead and save this, and that'll complete the first half of this exercise. Okay, now we are continuing the second half of the exercise on building the house with Revit. On the Quick Start menu, we are on page 25, and it asks us to add a ground plane, so let's go ahead and do that. And select the Site View, and click on to Top Surface. And you want to make sure that you have the site selected. Go ahead and Use your point, and we're going to make a rectangle on the outside of this house. All right, a little tricky, but if you click on the site command, it'll it should work for you. And then go ahead and select finish surface. And then it asks us to build some interior walls. So we and essentially we can just prox uh, make these walls similar to as they appear on page 26. So make sure that you copy that as well as you can. And I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm going to just pause this so you don't have to watch all this. But let's go ahead and get this started. Go ahead and go ahead and select level one. Then I'm going to select my walls, and it asks us to select the basic wall interior is five five inches uh, partition.
and then I'm going to go ahead and start building these walls, similar to uh, the drawing on page 26. As I build these walls, hit the escape button to get out of have that done and just check with page 26 make sure I have all the, the rooms necessary okay so then we'll go to the next page of the exercise and we're going to go ahead and add doors and we'll follow along Just copy and place those as indicated. Windows. And the fixed window is 36 by 48, and it wants a total of 22 windows as shown. And here are the variables on the windows. We'll keep it as it is. It should default to 20, excuse me, 36 by 48. Let's go ahead and put those windows in. And I'm going to pause this. So as you go along, if you have problems and you need to reposition your windows, what you want to do is go ahead and select the modify tool and you can you can move a wall, you can you can move items, whatever you need to do. So for example, I want to move this door up a little bit, so I just go ahead and select it and move it up. And I'm going to put the window where it asks me to put it. And I can drag this one down if I want to, just with the modify command. And now that we've finished putting the windows in, let's see what we have created by selecting the 3D view. And come down and we're going to select shading with edges and an easy way to view this is select the icon dynamic modify view or you can press F8 and select the spin and you can view your house so here we are on page 29 and let's go ahead and save it as a GS underscore E2 file into your folder. And you are completed with exercise two on building a house.